New shooter coverage of IBC 2024 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Adamos, and b &H. It's Matt here for NewShooter.com at IBC 2024. I'm at the Black Magic Design booth. Now, this is a new Pixis 5.4 inch external monitor that you just released recently. Run me through it. Yeah, it's brand new for the show. So, we announced the Pixis camera system at NAB earlier in the year. And we had a lot of conversations with customers at the time where we had this side monitor, which is rigid and fixed. And obviously, people were looking for a top monitor solution because the camera's designed to be rigged, maybe onto handheld gimbals or you know, used in and around a lot of um, different options that operators would want and we do a video assist product which is an off-board recorder but they can be a bit bigger a bit heavier and they need external batteries so to support the Pixus product we've introduced the Pixus monitor so we have a nice light off-board monitor small and just single attachment via USB-C to the camera itself and this is all being run power data camera control all through USB-C which is a first I think yeah so we have a USB-C cable option um, on the Pixis itself. Um, we have an EVF product that we announced at NB as well that we use with our Ursa Cine, um, which allows us to take data and power from the cameras. So it's an extension of that technology. A single cable, single point of power from the front into the back of the device, and it's lockable as well. So we put lockable attachment on it so you can tighten those off and you know it's nice and rigid however you're using the camera and the monitor together. And I, I take it because of the design of this, you can't use this in conjunction with, say, the EVF because there's only one USB data port on the camera? Yeah, so the, there is a USB port on the back of the Pixis, but that's pre predominantly used for attaching USB-C recording devices. So we're using the front port, which is labeled as viewfinder for the Pixis monitor. Um, just as a side note, if you're looking at the Ursus Cine product, the larger brother of this camera, that's got multiple USB-C ports and we can run an EVF and a Pixis monitor off that device on that larger hardware, but not on the smaller camera. It's, it's either the EVF or a Pixis monitor, which, whichever you prefer, single cable, single connector. And what's the, the sort of power draw of this? Um, to be confirmed, once we get the product up and running, I think it's going to be somewhere in the region of 4 to 5 watts. So it'll obviously have a minimal impact on battery life as possible, um, but it is a nice bright screen as well. So the power draw is going to be where it needs to be because we're, we're doing full HD, full color, uh, with some display and data control, and also it's a 1500 nit monitor. So we wanted to make sure the screen was bright and vibrant, um, especially if you're in shooting conditions in bright daylight, for example. Um, so the power draw will be reflective of that kind of need that the monitor has. And if you're using this and, and you obviously got the side monitor on the side here, can you actually dim this down to conserve power or, or turn it off when you're using this? Um, something we could look at, not in the current software options, um, but yeah, certainly something that could be considered by the engineer so that you've got that power balance across the two. One of the other nice things is there's a multitude of different mounting options for this monitor. Yeah, so it'll be available in three packages. Um, you could buy it just as monitor only. So that's assuming you already know how you want to attach the monitor to your Pixis. Um, as you can see here, this is the basic configuration. So we give you this uh, top mount with a really nice uh, engineered dovetail connector. And this gives us pitch and tilt and we can rotate the camera fully round if we wanted to. The third option actually uses the Ursa Cine EVF mounting system. So you will sell that as a package and that gives you the same dovetail connection, but you can slide and move it around like you would an EVF so you can position the monitor exactly how you'd want to.